Leonard in Stockholm, Sweden, writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, is it useful to have class A in the phono stage if you choose class D later on? Huh. I think the answer is yes, it's fine. I think people get kind of confused and all these classes of amplifiers can be daunting and confusing. We've got class A, we've got class AB, we've got class D, we've got class H. What else is there? I mean, there's all these classes of amplifiers. And in one sense, it doesn't really matter because let's just say if we, if we view a system as boxes that have a sound to them, then the technology inside as to how it got there how it made that sound doesn't really matter. But we, <laughs> we are audiophiles, so <laughs> hey, I want you. I gotta know, if, if, what's the first thing you do? What's the first thing I do when I get a piece of equipment? I take the damn top cover off. Very first thing I do, I take the top cover off, ooh, see what's inside. Because I'm a nerd, right? I'm an audiophile nerd. I, I own up to it, kind of like being part of AA, right? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm a recovering audiophile. And yeah, it matters to us because we like, we like the tech. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's part of the fun of it. And so we, we like to think that class D has a sound to it and class A has a sound to it. And in some ways that is correct, but it's not always correct. And so I, I, I want to I want to have us try our best to get away from thinking in those terms of, of stereotyping, not to make a pun, of stereotyping how a class A amp sounds versus a class A B amp or a class D amp or a class A phono stage or whatever. And I, I want us to get away from it because I think it is limiting. It, it, it's, it's like saying, you know, People with short hair are all engineers, which of course, that's stupid, but it's, it's, when we start classifying things according to how they look, how they should sound, I think we limit ourselves. So this amplifier is a class D amplifier with a class A stage in front. Okay? Now we didn't do that for marketing purposes, we did that because the way this sounds, coupled with the way this sounds, we have a synergy. The combination of the two, I would say, in fact, I would bet good money, if you listen to this amplifier without knowing what it is, you're gonna think it's just one hell of a great amp. You're gonna hear music. You're not gonna know that it's class D at the output stage and class A at the input stage. You're just not gonna know that. That was the mastery, that's the art of what we do. So we take care of the synergy and judge it on the whole. So I wouldn't go in that direction that you're leaning. And that's why. Okay. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.